News 4 Tucson is proud to team up with Biz Tucson Magazine to bring you what we feel are 11 reasons the world is watching Tucson. Downtown Tucson has always been unique, but not always for the right reasons. While revitalization efforts have gone on for decades, it's only in the last 10 years the city has finally gotten the world's attention. The Rio Nuevo District was created in 1999 to spearhead the revitalization of downtown Tucson. Ten years in, little had been accomplished. Its board had spent more money on studies than actual projects. An estimated $200 million was unaccounted for, and the city was mired in lawsuits. It was clearly time for a change. The state then took over and appointed new board members. We had to say goodbye to some people and we had to say hello to some people. Mark Irvin, a Tucson commercial real estate broker, was one of the first new appointees, part of a core of new blood determined to pump new life into downtown. And we were really lucky then to get Fletcher McCusker and Chris Sheaf to join our board. And I would tell you, to me, that was a huge turning point for our board um, as far as just having great leadership, leading us forward and making stuff happen. Their first goal, refurbishing the TCC Arena. Urban says getting it done changed everything. This is where it really all started. It was the very first project that we did, another catalyst in my opinion. It's what allowed us to go get the Roadrunners and bring them to Tucson, and ultimately allowed the Sugar Skulls to come to Tucson and play here at the arena. So to have, you know, we really wanted to have an anchor tenant at the TCC. So that provided that bandwidth for us to do so. Urban says another springboard was convincing Caterpillar to build its $50 million mining center in the Mercado district in 2017. From there came a flood of other projects. Even as the coronavirus pandemic raged on here in Tucson, so did construction. Despite all the challenges, more than $500 million in construction projects moved forward including much needed improvements to the Tucson Convention Center and the surrounding area. Along with the completion of a long promised Convention Center hotel, several residential complexes like the Flynn and the Monaire, with hundreds of apartments, thousands of square feet of retail space and parking garages were finished. The surge in growth driven by a board skilled in the art of a deal. Today's Rio Nuevo board is night and day compared to the original Rio Nuevo board for the fact that we're really a, a CEO led board. Edmund Marquez is a local businessman and has been a Rio Nuevo board member for the last seven years. Marquez says that business first mentality is what has made Tucson an attractive location for investors who have now brought in a vast array of restaurants and entertainment venues to downtown and other projects are on the way. The future of, of Rio Nuevo is, is to continue to activate spaces. And I think as you watch us moving forward, we'll be a little more diligent. I don't, want to use, I don't know if I want to use the word aggressive, but we're going to be diligent in regard to activating those spaces. So you just don't see any closed up or boarded up buildings downtown. Clearly, there is more work to be done. Plans that include a 19 story high rise slated for completion in 2023. But if you've been downtown lately, you know there is something for everyone. It's become a very different feeling. A lot of restaurants, a, a lot of activity, a lot of entertainment. It's really different. It's definitely up and coming from like the last two and a half years that I've been here. Um, and I love basically the opportunity that it has um, offered me and a lot of other people. When the new board was appointed, there was talk of renaming it. Fletcher McCusker is quoted as saying that instead of changing the name of the board, they decided to change its reputation. Mission accomplished. To read more about the 11 reasons the world is watching Tucson, check out the current edition of Biz Tucson magazine. You can find the link on our website at kboa.com.